uh, this is part two to that video. I accidentally uh, hit stop record on that um, on that video. So uh, I'm trying to show how much water I put in the tray. I accidentally hit the stop record button when I grabbed the camera. So, but anyways, um, if you see, if you notice the uh, pattern in the bottom of here, so you just barely want the uh, water to fill in that pattern, but you don't want um, there to be you know any high level of water in here. So I'm going to show you exactly how much I put in there. I don't know how I hit that button. So we're just going to... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to waste time using the sprayer. Now, when I do go to keep on putting water in here, once you know both trays are in here, um, I'm just going to be spraying the water through the cubicles, you know, or through the units, keeping the top of this thing on. But I'm doing this just to show you, uh, so you get to see firsthand exactly how much water I try to keep in this at all times. So, put it here. So this, this thing isn't exactly level, this uh, surface. So... So basically, uh, if you have this on a level level surface, uh, I want to show you. So you don't want it puddled like that. But as you see, this is not level surface. You you see that there's hardly any water on this side, but there's like a puddle like that. You don't want that much water in there. Um, basically, if you see how uh, how much water is just slightly puddled in there, you know, between the. Uh, the little raised parts of that plastic. You just want to like basically get those filled in. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, with the heating mat. We're going to be having this thing 12 hours on, 12 hours off. I have a uh, smart plug um, that I can program to have it shut on and off automatically. So that way um, days, you know, while I'm at work, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I don't have to worry about being home to get the thing uh, either plugged in or unplugged on time. I'll have the smart, phone, uh, the smart plug doing all that for me. So now that we got our water in there, um, I'm going to get the camera pointed upwards. And we're going to show you the next step. I'm going to move my chair so I can bring the camera over here. Make sure this is all in frame. I cannot believe I accidentally hit that stop record button. I have no way to edit my videos, to splice the videos together. It sucks. I got to keep on making separate videos to make part ones and twos and whatever. It really sucks that that happened. So, here, I'm going to actually move. I'm going to move the camera back. The camera stand back here just for a moment. So... I'm obviously going to be this is a, a a 10 by 20 inch um seedling trays and a propagation propagation unit and that's a 10 by 20 uh seedling heating mat so now right off the bat um like i said in the beginning of the video i am going to be using both of these this is the propagation unit lid uh, but when you're in the germination phase you want to keep that you want to have a short lid so a whole ton of moisture doesn't end up going way up into here. And this will help preserve the heat and moisture a lot better if you use a rough shallow one. But we're going to be, I'm going to be using uh, both of them, one on top of the other. Um, just because I don't really have anywhere else to put that big lid. But So you want to get a good seal around there. And if you have to, I've done this before. Um, I put saran wrap around the sides. But uh, it's a guarantee that, like, uh, to prevent moist, a lot of moisture from escaping out the sides, you know, as uh, the thing's heating up. So we're going to put that on top of here. Okay, that's basically essentially all you need. And uh, on top of doing this, you're going to see me, I'm going to be putting a towel on top of there, on top of this whole thing. And that is going to guarantee that uh, light does not end up getting in here. So, but I'm going to be putting 
this propagation unit lid on. Now this thing is very useful. So once the seedlings start sprouting up above the soil, um, I can use this as little vents on top um, to allow uh, air to get in. Because once they sprout up, you're gonna want light and air to get into here to uh, you know hit the leaves that are on the top of the uh, seedlings. But until then, you want it in darkness and you want it to be trapped. You know you want you want it to be as much of like a greenhouse effect as possible. You know uh, you know everything to be contained inside of there. The uh, heat, moisture, everything and keep it uh, dark. So I'm going to close the little vents on here. I mean, I got the initial lid on there anyways, but we're going to put that on top. Okay. And I need to go get a towel. So actually I have a towel right here. I don't know if the hand towel is going to be big enough for this. Actually, it's, we're going to use a regular towel. Good size towel on there. So, actually, you know, I gotta move this thing of extract. Uh, maybe we'll just move the uh, seating mat and everything. Keep these jars moved out of the way. Still can't believe I accidentally hit stop on that stupid tablet. So that's going to be good enough. And then off camera, after the video ends, I'm going to be uh, programming my uh, smart plug to Did I even get a, that all on frame. No, for crying out loud. So I'm hoping y'all just got that in. I forgot to adjust my camera. But um, as you see, I got the uh, towel on top of here. I have everything uh, sealed underneath. And uh, uh, what was I saying? Um, so anyways, uh, I'm going to be programming my, uh, smart plug to turn on and off every 12 hours, the heating mat that is. So, uh, anyways, when we get some activity, um, uh, we get some things sprouting up, I will make another video, but, uh, any of y'all that is using, uh, these videos to try to grow yourself, I really hope this helps and, uh, just uh, do exactly what you've seen me do. Get the stuff that I had bought in the Miracle Grow seedling starter. I'll show you that again one more time. If you get this, as long as your seeds are good, if you get this stuff, uh, this stuff is is all has always worked for me, uh, no problem at all. So, uh, anyways, hope that video helped you, and I will catch you in the next one.